OK, joined by Nicole Owens here at Parnell Park as Ballygan announced a continuation of their partnership with Dublin GAA. Nicole, it's a big week for yourselves. It's the Lidl League final against Cork uh, this weekend. How are preparations going for the game so far? Yeah, really well. Obviously, we're delighted to be in uh, the league final. We haven't made it sort of the last few years. So kind of starting off the year, hopefully on a high. You faced Cork fairly recently in the, in the league already down in Porky Creeve. Uh, so I guess in a lot of ways you know what to expect. You know what to expect from them anyway. You've, you've faced them so much over the past few years. Um, yeah, like I know we've, we've faced them a lot, but I think as a team they're evolving a lot and they're sort of changing the way they play. And I mean, like we're always trying to improve the way we play. So it's funny year on year, like there'll always be something slightly different, but certainly we know how much of a formidable opponent they are. Uh, the game down in Porky Creek was won by a single point, uh, as these games tend to go. So I'm sure this weekend will probably be no different as far as it'll be a, a very tight encounter. Yeah, a great game to watch. Um, not so great to be on, on either side, probably. But yeah, listen, we know it's always it's always tight going into games against Cork. Um, and there's a lot of you know things we personally can improve on. Um, kind of not looking at them, looking at ourselves, bringing, you know, coming into the match this weekend. How do you feel the season has gone so far? Some new personnel in the in the side as well, which I'm sure is uh, mixing things up from last year and changing things every uh, year on year. Yeah, I think the start of the season has been great for us. I think there's a, yeah, a few kind of elements. Obviously, the league, you know, usually the league for us can tend to be a bit of a slow start, kind of almost sort of a hangover from the previous year. But um, like I think we've we've come into this match with four wins in the league, um, as you said both new people coming into the team um, and also people who've been in the team for the last few years really stepping up and and uh, kind of stamping you know their name on the team and that's brilliant to see because like that we kind of thrive on competition and kind of each year as each year goes on the more people that we have standing up and claiming jerseys. Not to look too far ahead but after this weekend it's the championship in two weeks time so it is a short turnaround for the championship and in a lot of ways I guess the league this year has been about preparing for the championship. The difference in this year has been considering the you know the league and the championship are so close together, and this league has been in, in a lot of ways preparation for the championship and for the summer ahead. Yeah, definitely. I think it's been great getting to have such um, an amount of competitive football. Um, obviously, having the block of time to kind of come back and you know get you know systems and people you know back up to speed. Um, but then obviously playing kind of the caliber of. You know, teams we've been playing on a week in, week out basis is fairly a sprint through the through the group stages certainly, um, and obviously there's not much time between the league and the championship. So kind of finishing, um, you know, strong, to getting through to the final. The more games we can play, obviously given the years in it, there's not going to be many friendlies happening. So really just having given ourselves the best opportunity to get the most competitive fixtures. Uh, we've seen fans start to trickle back into the grounds over the past uh, couple of weeks, mostly families, obviously of players. Um, some supporters as well. Uh, as well, uh, it's, it's a very positive uh, thing to see over the past few weeks, and hopefully we'll see it more and more over the coming weeks. That more and more fans will be able to get into the grounds. Yeah, definitely. I think it's great. I think kind of everyone who's watched any of the sport over the last year knows it's not the same without fans there and without hearing people reacting and kind of lifting whichever team. And I think it's really shown definitely in the Euro, some of the Euro matches. You can tell, like particularly the Denmark one, I think you can tell how much of an impact fans can have in spurring the team on. So certainly it'll be great to get some fans back this weekend and then hopefully, you know, hopefully it'll all go smoothly and, you know, coming towards the, the kind of, you know, later stage championship games. Uh, if Dublin are still there, that our fans will be there too.